hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so uh, we'll, uh, we have discussed in uh, some of the other videos uh, different eras in literature uh, romantic era augustan era metaphysical era so uh, with this video i thought of discussing uh, a little bit about the modern era we have in our anthology in the collection of poetry we have some modern era poems so uh, what is modernism modernism means what we have uh, discussed earlier about romantic period romanticism is this and it was the time uh, just uh, started with the industrial revolution so then what is modernism modern era it's the later like quite recent era so that started the modern era began with the situation just after the world war one when Europe uh, went through during the, the situation that Europe went through during the World War I um, and after, after the World War I and um, the period between World War I and World War II and after the World War II. So uh, how uh, the European uh, uh, countries, how the countries uh, reacted to that and how the people affected, how, how the situation affected to people and that was the result of the modern era uh, literature or like modern era poems emerged with the experience that uh, that happened or experienced uh, just after the first world war so uh, then uh, t.s Eliot, you know uh, t.s Eliot, we consider him as the father of modern era poetry he was uh, the pioneering in um, capturing the situation uh, with the modern uh, modern era and uh, also you know uh, when it comes to like uh, the eras like Victorian era the uh, mostly the poets brought about uh, uh, the aesthetic beauty in Victorian era poems and uh, also romantic poems also you find uh, uh, the beauty of nature nature uh, like uh, the writers like Wordsworth Keats they depicted uh, the beauty of nature but when it comes to a uh, modern era modern uh, poems you find mostly uh, these poets especially the poets like uh, 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 Eliot T.S. Eliot uh, the poets like them uh, they used to uh, capture the ugly side of the life or oh, ugly side was like mostly what we uh, what we commonly see is like uh, through poetry we try to capture the uh, aesthetic beauty, the, be the beauty of the, uh, the, uh, the e aesthetic beauty, nature, like we appreciate, elaborate, uh, like that. But uh, here through uh, most of the modern era poems, uh, what we try to uh, depict, what the poets try to depict is uh, the ugly side of life. Most of the time the city life, uh, how the modern man suffer. Uh, so uh, we call T.S. Eliot like uh, as a post uh, World War One era poet. So uh, what happened? It's especially with uh, the modernism, like in this modern era, you mostly depict uh, how the people were spiritually barren. They were spiritually barren, like a spiritual barrenness, and uh, uh, because of their spiritual barrenness, the people, the uh, religion was rejected by Europeans most of the Europeans they rejected religion and uh, mostly uh, religion was uh, replaced by the rapid growing science like with the industrial revolution you know industrial era uh, the industrial revolution the science and technology uh, began to emerge like th those uh, developments uh, happened social transformation happened people who uh, lived in villages and started to move move away into the towns and the whole London city uh, became an industrial city so when these things happen step by step the final result was uh, the modern era that gave birth to the modern era so in the modern era what happened was uh, people uh, they, they easily rejected religion you know religion is something uh, that gives a root to the man so when people reject, uh, rejected the religion and when it was replaced by uh, science, rapid growing science. 
science and technology and uh, you know industrialization uh, with the industrialization occurs with the evils um, and also industrialization was uh, that could uproot the people from their culture so people were uprooted from the culture they were uprooted from the religion so when there is no religion no culture for the man what happened the man became rootless like uh, culture and religion most of the time the culture and religion that gives a root to the man that was like uh, you are standing on uh, your root is that you are standing on culture you are stand that is your image that is your identity and religion gives us a spiritual value to the life uh, culture gives also culture it's like a uh, culture depicts who you are what you are your identity so when there is no religion or no culture for the man the uh, the people like uh, the workers like mostly you find the working class people like uh, when they move on to the industrial towns and when they were not uh, having when they were uh, uprooted from the culture or uprooted from the religion so they become uh, like uh, they, their lives became a barren life. Their life was like full of boredom. Their life was full of fatigue. Their life was uh, like it was like ugly kind of life they were having. Uh, no spirituality, no beauty, no aesthetic beauty in their life. So um, lack of all these things made their life very fatigued, bored, tiresome. Uh, very uh, unpleasant kind of life they started to uh, suffer in life and uh, you you don't see the uh, like uh, you don't see that they they have the uh, spiritual happiness in their life like uh, for example as wordsworth said uh, nature can make man happy even with even though you are not like at the moment, even though you are not enjoying with that, the moment that you enjoy it can make, make you happy. Nature is something like that. But when the man is, uh, when the man is away from all these things, uh, man, uh, man loses his uh, own identity. No culture, no value, no spirituality in life. So man beca bega began to suffer. So in most of T.S. Eliot's poetry, for example, we have... Uh, morning at the window so there you can see how the, the ugly badly dwelled city life people morning at the window morning uh, you you would love to see something beautiful morning at the window it would be like the title should give you a pleasant weave but instead getting a pleasant weave we get a kind of very unpleasant weave the d dirty muddy skirts or the despair um, disappointment like sufferings of the people uh, so uh, the things like prostitution the evil side of the life uh, child laboring industrialization uh, different things so uh, this is the this is what the modernism you find the modern poems most of the modern poems talk about the ugly side of the life which is something against the uh, against the common ex uh, expectations of poetry so uh, let's meet once again uh, with another topic uh, you can apply the characteristics of modern era poems uh, uh, the characteristics of modern era to the modern poems in your collection uh, and also you can do the same thing with the uh, romantic era poetry augustan era poetry find out the characteristics of each era and apply them to the poems in your collection. So let's meet once again with another video.